I am back today with a very beautiful and special guest. This is my best friend in the whole entire world, Carmen. Hi. And she's going to be in a couple videos, so get used <laughs> to this beautiful face. And right now, we're just going to be doing our makeup, having fun. Carmen will probably trick me into doing stuff for her, but, you know, we'll get into all of that. She'll tell embarrassing <laughs> stories about me. I'll tell embarrassing stories about her because I'm petty. Most likely. And, uh, yeah, so that's going to be today's fun kind of all over the place energy video also i'm dog sitting again so there's doggo dog. surprise doggo <laughs> so yes um if the dogs make an appearance that'll be even more fun so without much further ado let's hop straight into this get ready with me <laughs> one of my favorite things about doing my makeup when jasmine is around is uh, doing it purposefully as wrong as i can to watch her get upset also, don't you dare put that on your face without primer. See, and then I like to not bring my makeup <laughs> anywhere. I just brought a few things that match my skin tone. Um, and then I look at Jasmine and I go, I don't have any primer. <laughs> and then she hands me primer. That's Max Strobe Cream. <laughs> it's this one. <laughs> it's this one. <laughs> it's this one. <laughs> I also am very bad about reading Ever. everything. <laughs> So, you know, what things are, which led me to put, use eyeshadow as a powder for about a year and a half. Oh, that was so funny. When I pointed out that it was an eyeshadow, you were just like, well, why is it the color of my skin if it's an eyeshadow? So and it's obviously like, a powder. They come in different things. They come in different shades. And you were like, how do you know it's an eyeshadow? I'm like, well, first of all, I've seen this like package of eyeshadow. And second of all, it says eyeshadow on it. And then take a little bit of this and put it in, like. Your tea zone. So I think the best way to put primer on oh God, is to just kind of, you know, you put it on your tea zone like this. And then you do this until Jasmine tells you to why stop. Are you why are you trying to hurt me? Stop <laughs> like, Come here. And then she fixes it. It's really just like a brilliant plan. Why did you try to hurt me? What did, did I, I do? love you. What did I do to deserve this? See? What evil did Works I do in a past every time. life? Okay, let's get into it. So, I have not really done Carmen's makeup since, well, I haven't done your makeup since October, but it Me used too. to be like a weekly basis. We went to high school together, and in the mornings when I was late, which was <laughs> every morning. Carmen's habitually late to things. And not just a little bit late, like a lot late. So anyways, when I'd be running late to school in the morning, I would just throw all my makeup in a bag, go to my first period with just like a sweatshirt and just kind of sit in the back of class. And then I would text Jasmine and say, meet me in the bathroom at break. I it's have an my emergency. Makeup. No, you'd be like, it's an emergency. And they'd come in and be like, what's going on? And you're like, I need you to do my eyeshadow. <laughs> and I would just hand her my makeup, stand there and eat a snack. <laughs> I would feed her a snack too sometimes. No, your family always fed me. Like that was never the issue. I do need a mirror. You can take, yeah, you can take the little plus. Flubble, flubble, out. You have so many beautiful words. Flubble, flubble. Want to talk about what's beautiful? Does anyone see this? Does anyone see? What did you do to it? What, what okay, did it do to so, anger you? So there's a few things. A I have, few things? I had two beauty sponges. And... I was you never wash them. No, I do wash them. I wash them every time. I rub them on my little soap, and then I wash them, and then I use them every time. That's a new. That's a new, new thing. You never did that in high school. Um, this is because my new face wash is a bar of soap. Oh. So I can just rub it on there easily. Eh, you can see my hair. Where your concealer goes. Thanks, Carmen. I didn't know that. You're welcome. So pretty. You're so beautiful. <laughs> So anyways, I was dog sitting and I had two makeup sponges. Uh-huh. And one makeup sponge when I was dog sitting, it just like had rolled on the floor and it was nasty and I was like, I'm not using this again. Because I was also dying at that point. It was just like, it was on its tail end and then it rolled on the floor where all the dogs were and I was like, I'm just not going to deal with this. So I threw that away. Uh -huh. The only problem was I forgot I had already gone through the other makeup sponge. I just hadn't thrown it away yet, but I needed a makeup sponge. <laughs> and so I looked at it and like I tried washing it. But I'd had it for about six months. I don't know how long you're supposed to have them. Um, 
had it for about six months and it was it gone. So I was like, well, I need a makeup sponge. It's like, oh, well, if I just snip off the like dried part that doesn't work anymore, it'll work great. So I did that on the bottom. Oh. And then it still wasn't working. Like it just, I'd put water in it and it just wouldn't work. So I just kind of got a little carried away and just cut back an entire layer of the makeup sponge. <laughs> <laughs> I was left unattended, is my defense. It's not my fault I'm not home. <laughs> to be fair, nobody was home at that point, so I was like, oh, this is a brilliant no one idea. Like your mom could stop you. No one could stop me. No one could be like, Carmen, just go to Target. I was planning on going to Target the next day, so I was like, and this, yes, is, just a, this is just it. a one time, I'm going to use this today. And then I'll go to Target tomorrow and get a new one and everything will be fine. And how did that work out? And then I was like, well, it kind of works. So why get rid of it if it's not broken? It looks like you've seriously abused it. Like, I worry for its safety. You should. It's dead. <laughs> I mutilated its dead body. <laughs> you mutilated its corpse. So, you know, in case you're wondering who in the friend group was like, had the weird sense of humor, it was us. It was the two of us. We would sit and laugh. And then just start hysterically laughing. And everyone would be like, we don't want to know. <laughs> they, they'd stop asking. They, would, they wouldn't be like, oh, what's the joke? Is it an inside joke? They'd just be like, just don't tell us out loud and we will be okay. <laughs> or we would like be sitting there arguing and teachers would come over and be like, what are you arguing about? We're in class. You need to pay attention to class. And then this, but it would be like, it wasn't like they were teaching. Like we wouldn't do this, well... For the most part, we wouldn't do this when they were actively teaching. I said for the most part. For the most part. Usually it was when, like, we were given free work and we were supposed to be, like, reading the chapter by ourselves. But or we had already we done learn. the work. Or we were good students. Or we knew we were going to eventually. Like, we didn't really care. Like, we're like, we can hang out now and do homework later when we're bored and alone. And so, um... To be fair, we didn't have that many classes together in high yeah. school. So the classes we did have together, we were like... It's my friend who can't separate us. This is, yeah, this is it. This Our is English the, teacher our... tried to separate us, and we are just like, we're not moving. Well, to be fair, that wasn't him. He just, like, they were trying to separate us into different, they were trying to organize students, and they were like, oh, you two, you go in this room, and you go in this room. We just look at the organizer person and be like, no. no. <laughs> but and then was... they put us in different English classes in different periods, and, and we would I just still w- found a way walk to get out of the other period. period to go into the other person's English class. But to be fair, I was TAing your English period, so there was nothing stopping me from going. What was I there. doing your English period? You never I came into my class. English period. You never came. Why does it even matter? I don't think it matters. We are off topic. Point. I had a point. But we were strange. Oh, oh no, no, no. The, so the, like, the dead one, talk. <laughs> one time, we were, uh, we were talking about something. Like, we were talking about, like... I don't even remember what it was. It was something like not super important, but it was us, so it was the end of the world. It's extremely and important. Someone, to us. one of, I believe you were like, you know, like you're almost dead. Like it doesn't really matter. And I was like, um, I feel like there's, there's, you're either dead or you're not dead. Like <laughs> it's, it's one or the other. And this argument still has not been, um, to be fair, like handled to this day. So we still will. You like, can be almost. No, dead. you can't. Okay, no, no, we're not having this argument. <laughs> Leave in the comments below whether if you, you think, think... No, 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 it wasn't almost. It was kind of dead. Kind of dead. That's what it was. Because <laughs> everyone like, can be almost dead. Kind of dead is... Like, half dead. And I was like, you can't be kind of dead. But anyway, so we were sitting there arguing about that. And this teacher, who we didn't like because he told us not to eat bread because that's how you gain weight and then boys wouldn't want to date you. And he said, um, like, that... Uh, because it's Bonfili, right? Mm-hmm. What, what was the other thing? Oh, he said that women were worse drivers because we we're putting our makeup on in the car. Like, we did not like this professor or teacher. And so he comes over and he's like, what do you ladies think is so important to be talking about right now? He actually talks like that. I'm not even being rude. She's not. <laughs> and, and so we were, Carmen just looks straight up at him. Like, I was, he's this like macho Football basketball coach. coach blah 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 like he's been working here for 30 years and Carbon looks up at him and goes can you be kind of dead, dead or just, just dead? dead and he was just he did not know how to, <laughs> he was just like that's not what you're supposed to be doing right now and, and then, then I was like well can you 
And we were like, well, that's what we're debating. And when, once we come to a conclusion, we will do our work. And so then he was just like, okay, weirdos. But yeah, and then there was another one where Carmen turned around to me and asked how you spell business. And I spell it for her. And I she's still like, have an issue stupid. with that. And I agree that business is spelled a dumb way. But then she was like, that's stupid. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm not the one who came up with how you spell business. So I'm sorry, but there's not really much I can do about you to do to help you right now. And she's like, that's dumb. I hate it. I don't. Blah, 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 blah. And sometimes when Carmen would get frustrated with math or spelling or anything, she would just take it out on me in like Many a joking times. way. And so she'd be like, that's a dumb way to spell it. I don't and know why dumb. you would spell it like this. And I'm like, that's how everyone spells it. She's like, well, you're dumb and everyone's dumb. And I'm like, I'm sorry, but why are you taking this out on me? I'm trying to help you. And so he comes over. And he's like, what are you ladies talking about now? This is like months after the kind of dead incident. And we're like... Carmen's we thought like, he had learned his lesson at this point. Business is stupid. And he's like... And this is an econ class. He's like, business is... No, how you spell, spell business is stupid. And he's just like... You have a point, but that's not what you're supposed to be talking like, about in this class. No, there's... The English language is blah, 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 also, blah. Also, he was a know-it-all. If you want to see the difference between Jasmine and I and our makeup, this is Jasmine's powder. Um, and then I dropped my powder on the floor a couple of times and it kind of cracked. But to fix it, I am very good at fixing things. Well, I saw... Never mind. Can so, the um, then this is my powder. You know, it, it's the same. It looks the same. Same quality, right? <laughs> really? Okay. Um. I have my pretty face. You're, you're so beautiful. Um, okay, so can you not flinch your forehead? You're like giving your forehead creases before I like. Anyways, so yeah, that professor didn't know how to, that teacher didn't know how to deal with us. Our other teachers liked us. Like I, we were very well liked students in high school. By the teachers. Not by the other students. Definitely by the teachers. I don't teachers. think many people disliked it. We weren't popular, but we were well liked. I think it's the best. Like, if someone knew who we were, they'd be like, oh, yeah, they're kind of weird, but, you know, generally pretty nice. They'll help you with stuff or whatever it was. And then, stop. I can't do both of our makeup. <laughs> this video is going to be two hours long. Where's your blush brush? Right here. And I asked you if you wanted to do the video with me, me doing your makeup, and you were like, I don't, I don't care. care. I want to do whatever. I just want to hang out with you. And now. Because you're my best friend. And now here we are, and you're like, just do it all for me. To be fair, I do your hair. This is true. Although she that does not take hair. long as long as makeup took, at it, all. It took her like three minutes. Like, let's well, not. I have a lot of hair, and I've had a lot of hair my entire life. Very long, very thick. And so. I know now it's not doing it justice, but it goes down to like her butt. Yeah, it's tied up in many braids at the moment. So I'm good at doing hair, and we had a deal in high school is. Hair. For any of the dances or cheer games or anything that we had to do together we had to like get ready for it i would do jasmine's hair and she would do my makeup that's the way it worked and now i don't know how to do my hair and i don't know how to do makeup i try i love makeup i love makeup and i desperately try to do makeup all the time and it usually ends with me facetiming jasmine to try and figure out it looks what good, I'm like, doing. like, especially lately, you'll send me pictures and it looks really good. I have been getting a lot better. I think that's because of quarantine. And it's also my before. skin has gotten a lot better. Both of our skin has gotten a lot better since graduating. I had school. really bad acne in high school and then freshman year of college, I had really, really bad acne. Same. And so, once my skin got better, I was, like, caring less about covering it up and more about, like, oh, just pretty makeup. And then it wasn't, it was a lot easier to do because it wasn't, like, I need to cover this side of my face completely. Yeah. And then it was fair. like, okay, now I look like I have a cake face. How do I fix this? And I ended up tears on the floor. Which, you know, that yeah. happens. Yeah. That's that's a place in life that we are we are often. <laughs> we usually end up just laying on the floor. You know what? The floor is our friend. The floor is our friend. The floor does not judge. But yeah, Carmen and I cheered together. We got ready for most prom, like school dances and stuff together. There was a brief period of time where I spent like three nights a week at her house. So in the morning, we would just get ready for school together. So this is a common occurrence. 
and as we've already stated, I would just show up at school and we'd get ready together. No, I'd get you ready. That's not getting ready together if it's I'm already ready. ready. We were in the same room. We are together. Oh, can I tell my favorite story of our crazy shit showiness? No, certainly. I have no idea what story this is. To be fair, prefacing this for YouTube, I don't know what story she's talking about. <laughs> But yes, you can, because I'm sure I will be just as entertained. So, Carmen and I... If I yell at her or start slapping nuts, means I actually remember what's going on. Carmen and I cheered together. And our coach was a wackadoodle. And, you know, I'm at the point in my life where I don't even care if she were to, like, see this and get mad at me calling her a wackadoodle. Because she is one. And Very much so. She just, she made me cry on like, like numerous occasions. I never cried in practice. Like I couldn't give her the satisfaction of knowing she had gotten to me. So I would always wait until like I was in my car or I was home to cry. Um, and so anyways, she always insisted upon doing a, a, a party for Christmas. Oh. Yeah. And I didn't even go to the first two. Because she Neither always planned it. So it was like supposed to be for Christmas. And it was usually like the second or third week of December, weekend of December. It was always on like a Saturday. We would have to drive down to Corridor Madera. So I don't know if you're familiar with the Bay Area. We're from North Bay. And she wanted us to drive down to Corridor Madera. So it's like an hour, hour and a half drive, depending on traffic, to get dinner at the Cheesecake Factory. I don't know why she insisted on getting it. There were plenty of like nice, like, fun good for large groups of teenage girls restaurants where we're from or like we could have done cute pictures literally anywhere but she always wanted to get dressed up fancy go to the cheesecake factory in Corona Madera go shopping even though we never actually went shopping I don't know why she always said we would go shopping anyways I don't whatever know that either oh well her original plan was to go to the cheesecake factory in San Francisco and then go ice skating but none of us ever wanted to go ice skating like my knee will give out if I go ice skating. But I screwed up my knee permanently ice skating like four years ago. And I just don't have any any desire to go again. Um, anyway, so she finally gave up on doing that. And we go and our senior year, we don't have any excuse. We have friends on the team who are younger who are going. And they're like, please go. Like, we don't want to go alone. We were blah, kind blah, of blah. the captains. We, we were, were like, we need to. There were no official captains. That aside, so we're like, okay, fine, we'll go. So I was supposed to go and meet Carmen at her house. We're supposed to meet at the restaurant like at 7, let's say. So we wanted to leave by 5.30. That would give us plenty of time. I get to her house at like 5. And I'm like, I'm not ready to go. We need to run around. Your brother happened to be home from college. Uh, mm -hmm. This is the fun brother. <laughs> she has the fun brother and the boring brother. And I don't think they watch beauty YouTube to get offended by this, so whatever. Although my fun brother does watch your YouTube now. So, well, you know who you are. <laughs> you know who you are. <laughs> and he comes in and he sees me, like, having a meltdown. I don't like being late. It stresses me out. I am late continually. We make best friends. We're, we make great best friends. Um, and so, yeah, I was stressed out about being late. And he's like, you seem very stressed. I don't know how to fix this. Do you want a shot? And I'm like, no, I'm driving your sister and a couple other girls down to Corte Madera. I can't have a shot. And he decides the next best thing is he goes into the pantry and gets like a bucket this tall of peanut butter cups, sets it down on the bathroom counter where you and I are frantically getting ready and just walks away slowly. And I'm like, that is by far the smartest thing I've ever seen a guy do. I have trained him well. <laughs> it was so funny. Um, so now whenever I see, like, the Trader Joe's peanut butter cups, it makes me think of that. But that's just the beginning of the story. So we actually managed to get out of the house, out of the house, like, at, like, 540. We pick up the girl who was going with us uh, at, like, 550. So we have, like, an hour and 10 minutes to get down here. Unfortunately, again, like, this is 5 o'clock traffic. On a, was it a Saturday or a Friday? Mm, I want to say it was a it was Saturday. A, we're about halfway down there, and we're in stopped traffic. Like, we're crawling. Let me, let me rephrase that. We were not in stopped traffic. We were in stop and go traffic. Yeah, we were in because stop and go traffic. that was the problem. So, Carmen gets very, very car sick. And very easily. In hindsight, why didn't we have Carmen drive? No one knows. Um, 
I, I think, think cause you were like, oh, I'll drive. And I was like, great, you'll drive. So we're getting down there and uh, we're, we have like 30 to 40 minutes to go. Carmen is in the front seat and she's like, okay, Jasmine, I get car sick. I've had a day. I haven't really eaten much today. So I don't think I'll be, I think I'll be fine, but I'm going to take a nap. So Cause then, when I'm sleeping, I don't get car sick. So I was like, I'll just sleep. It'll be fine. Okay, everyone, take a wild guess where this story is going. Carmen's head is on, like, the center console of my car. I'm just, like, laying She's like laying. And Ro- Carmen, or er, Jenna and I are talking about, like, boys or something stupid. Like, we're having a very vapid conversation. All of a sudden, Carmen just wakes up and goes, and all over Jasmine's all car. All over the car. And Jenna's in the back, like, Oh my god! I like, looked like I was possessed. I, I was sleeping one minute and the next is just projectile all over Jasmine's car. I know. And so then Jenna was like, "Oh my god, Carmen's like exploding. What do we do?" And I'm like, "I don't know." And I'm perfectly calm in this situation because You're, it's happened before. Well, you also like you were like not feeling great in that moment, so you were just like, "I." I, I'm sorry, I was sick. And I'm pretty sure you muttered that to yourself. And I was like, no, Carmen, it's fine. Don't be sorry. It's all good. This is also, also why we're best friends. The reason why we were in such bad traffic is because for like three years, they were doing like intense construction along that road. So it went from like a four lane highway to a two lane highway, then back to a four lane. And so we're in this like two lane 20 area. mile stretch where it's just two lane and there's dividers up on the side so there's nowhere to pull over because they're doing construction so we're just sitting there in this stop and go traffic that's going like super super slow and there's nowhere for me to pull over and i'm like and i really don't want to just completely stop because that'll just screw over traffic even more and so we finally get up to this area where there's like kind of a gas station and there's this very small narrow the gas station area. has been abandoned for 20 years yeah let's, let's to pull over that. so i pull over and carmen gets out and i kid you not just takes off her dress like she's wearing a bra and spandex under it and she i go run to the back of my car i'm trying to find something for her to put on i find like an old t-shirt that i just thrown back there and i give it to her because so i have no wearing, i have no problem i'm like i've gotten sick on my clothes i need to take them off we need to fix this so I just take off my dress. Which, like, in, in hindsight... stop and go traffic... People were honking. <laughs> everybody was honking. People were, like, honking and staring. And we're like, look, what do you want And Jasmine to and Jenna do not do well with vomit. So they no. were... No. We were trying. I was trying. I'm sorry. You tried so hard, and I love you so much for that. I tried. And also, we didn't have any paper towels or tissues. I was trying to use tampons to clean so it up. So we were... We started ripping apart pads and tampons... To try and clean this all up. And so I text the group chat, the cheer group chat, like, sorry, we are running late. We were on time, but Carmen is stripping on the side of the road. Everyone had just assumed that there was a couple random typos in there. And they just were like, okay, they, the never, they didn't are... guess. They couldn't figure out where the typo was. So they were just like, okay, I think something, like, I think they'll be here soon. So Something we were, happened, like, they'll be here soon. So between us, we were like five we were gonna be like 10 minutes late and then by the time we like stopped for five minutes or not five like 25 minutes on the side of the road and then had to pull back in and also like again we waited a little bit longer it by the time all in all we were about 45 minutes late um and You're also what you I'm call late with, to being fashionably late yeah and so i was just like i don't I, we were I, also the responsible ones on the team at this point yeah. Oh, another group of girls got there about 30 minutes after we did. And they didn't have, like, a throwing up excuse. They were just running deeply late. And they didn't let anyone know. So when we got there, we were like, we're so sorry. Blah, 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 blah. And they're like, it's okay. Um, like, so-and-so, so-and-so, and so-and-so aren't here yet. And I was just like, how? Like, physically how? So we get there. And we're, like, 40 minutes late at this point. And... So we I'm still there in nothing but her She's t-shirt. wearing an old Lady Antebellum like band t-shirt and spandex, but you can't tell it's spandex because I'm a much larger human being than Carmen is. So she's like about a, a foot taller than me. And she's wearing like respectable boots, but let me tell you. They were knee put, high heel boots that they, looked good with the dress I was wearing. They looked respectable with like the nice like kind of like church dress you were wearing yes. before. But when you pair it with, like, a country rock band t-shirt and looking like you're wearing no bottoms, it suddenly goes from, like, respectable heels to, like, 
woman of the night heels. I start to walk out of the car and I realize I'm wearing my flip flops and I had like nice shoes in the back of my car. I just didn't want to drive in them because my car is already a little bit too short for me. So I didn't want to drive in heels. So I'm like, okay, you guys, there's a gap right there. Run in, get Carmen something. I'll go grab my heels and I'll be right back. I walk in with my heels just to see Jenna, the girl we were with, and, like laughing as like an entire rack, rack of, clothing. of clothing was knocked on the floor. She's just standing there crying, laughing, and you're like running upstairs. And I was just like, I don't know that. <laughs> so I went in there and I'm like, I need clothes now. We are late. Yeah. And I'm a small human being, so I went into the kids' section because I'm like, it's cheaper. I grab a dress off of the clearance rack. I look at it and I'm like, this is a sparkly gold dress. This counts as like a festive thing. And I grab the nearest bra and I'm like, that's close to my size. And I run downstairs and I say, can I pay for this and change in your room? And they kind of look at me and they're like, I am wondering what is happening because you don't look like you have your life together. You are in nothing but a t-shirt and heeled boots. So while she's doing this, Jenna and I are perusing. You know, we're looking at the pajamas. We're having the time of our lives. I'm scolding her for knocking over an entire rack of t-shirts. So I run in, throw that on, and we just run out of gap. Yeah. And we are on, we are trying to run as fast as we can to get to the Cheesecake Factory. We get to the Cheesecake Factory. Uh, Before we get there, there's a store that's like a home goods store. And as we're running past, they have like all these things set out. And there was air fresheners. So I took the air fresheners and I just sprayed them all over myself and all over the girls. So we smelled like an air freshener. Not like perfume. Like an air freshener when we walked in. I don't even... I don't think you sprayed me. I think I was running ahead of you yeah. guys. And you and Jenna were like desperately trying to catch up hey, with well, me. that eyes What did up. you do? It died. We show up 45 minutes late. And then we realize that we're not even the last ones to get there. We sit down. And Carmen and I... Like, we had been desperately trying to hold it together this whole time, and we just lose it. We're sitting there giggling hysterically. Like, we just went through all of that crap, and we're not even the last ones here. We don't even get food yet. You're telling me I have to sit here and I don't get cheesecake after all of that? And I'm like, I don't want to be here anymore. I don't want to be a part of this team anymore. I just, I want to go Put on pajamas and like sit and eat cheesecake and like not deal with these human beings right now. And our the the cheer coach we liked comes over and she sits down. She's like, "Okay, guys, you two are usually the ones who have it together. So what hope do we have for the rest of the night?" And like. She says that verbatim. We explain everything that's happening. Jen is in the giggle bus with us. She is crying. Like, she's wiping away tears. And then Sarah, like, very calmly, like, laughs at us, calmly gets up, goes over to the other adults, sit down. I can see her explaining what's happening. A little little bit less detail to the other cheer coaches. And we just have our other coach kind of look over at us and, like, like go back. Give up. She doesn't even want to talk to us. And we're just like... This is the best scenario. Like, no one's bothering us. We're just sitting in our little... Because they pushed together, like, four tables. Because our team had, like, 12 girls or so at the time. Yeah, we had Plus, a decent like, amount. two adults, but, like, one or two girls weren't there or something. It was a fantastic time. <laughs> so we get through the dinner. And then after dinner... Oh, no, no, no. While we were having dinner. What did you do to this palette? <sighs> it died on me like my right eye. I have redone this one eye. Uh, this eye looks fantastic, right? This eye, I have redone four times in the time it takes us to do this conversation. <laughs> if you look, I am just like continually wiping it off in the corner over here. Um, during dinner, Jasmine gets up to go talk to our coach and explain what <gasps> oh, happens. Oh, fork. And she's wearing Maybe a sequined dress. Because I see coach uh, motion me over. So she's like doing important captain stuff. And Jasmine gets up and walks over there and leans over to have the conversation with our coach. And about five minutes later, Jenna and I are sitting there, and then we look, and we just start laughing. Because they're jerks. what can make this night any better is if Jasmine does something embarrassing. I've done embarrassing things. Jenna's done embarrassing things. We're waiting on her. <laughs> <laughs> and Jasmine's sequined dress, which is really pretty, there's sequins at the bottom. It had come up and attached to a sequin high on her back, and so her enti- the entire back of her dress was up and you could see everything for five minutes. 
I was not wearing spandex under my dress because I forgot them. Again, I was running late, like earlier, like I was very stressed. I didn't think it would be a big issue because I thought we were just going to be sitting and eating dinner. Like, who was going to be looking at my skirt? Apparently but, everyone. Apparently everyone, including the very judgy couple sitting next to us. Behind they kept us. glaring at us. And I'm like, clearly it was an accident if, like, under any other circumstances... Because what happened is you guys noticed and then either Jenna or Ariandra, I forget who, ran over and yanked on my dress because they were like, oh my god, we can't let her keep living like this. We're like, I'm dying of mortification. Like, I'm dying. I am so, so embarrassed about what happened. So I'm like, you know what? Like, I just, I need to go collect myself in the bathroom really quickly. So we go to go to the bathroom and I go with you, right? This is Yeah, this you go with, with you. me. Okay. And I'm talking to Carmen, and she goes to open the door. Bam! <laughs> Into a small, small child. child. Straight in the <laughs> face of the door. <laughs> so. And then we look at the small child, and because of the night we were having, our normal reaction would be, oh my goodness, are I you, was, no, are you I okay? was mortified. I just started laughing. Because I had lost it at that point. I was just, I had lost it. I like I turned to the the child and the mother and I was like I am so sorry we are very clearly having a night like I are you okay like can I do anything for you and the mom can I wear an eye patch in the next video <laughs> here no so the parent of the small child was like no you guys are clearly having a night like I'm not gonna press charges the kid was just so shocked that it had happened it wasn't even crying it was just kind of like what is wrong with these girls. And so... Uh, grown-ups are not supposed to hit me in the face. Grown-ups are not supposed to just, like, cry as they walk into the bathroom in fancy outfits. Um, so, yeah, that was... that. And then, like, we get through the dinner. We get through. We even eat some cheesecake. We get, like, we are done. This is the last thing that we have to do for our cheer team for the entire season. And we're seniors. This is the last time we have to even look at our wackadoodle coach's face for the rest of our lives, right? We go out, we have to take pictures. And as we're taking pictures, and something, of a Christmas tree. I guess a branch like got stuck on Jenna's dress because we're standing in front of a big Christmas tree and like got stuck to her butt. And I'm sitting there trying to be normal human being, like we're trying to hold it together. And I just hear Jenna go, I'm being groped by a tree. And I lose it. Carmen and I are crying. Ariandra and Emmy at this point are just laughing at us. And Coach is like, we're done. This and is, then we go back it. to the gap. And, and the same employees are working. They ask us what happened. We explain as we all buy matching pajamas. That we then change into in the, bath, in the changing rooms at Gap. Mm-hmm. And then purchase, and then we go drive home in our pajamas, and we stopped at the gas station and got ice cream, and we just, like, we're like, we're done. We're out. Well, as we stopped at the gas station and got ice cream, Jenna didn't realize the windows were down, and yelled, that guy over there is super cute! <laughs> and he turned and looked, and she started Straight. crying again. <laughs> so the whole night, we dropped Jenna off, and Jenna's mom- Our makeup mom, was wrecked by that. Jenna's mom, or sorry, Jenna texted me, she's like, my mom doesn't believe that we're sober. And that was the sad part, is that we were all fully sober, and this was just We also us. called my boyfriend at the time from the car, who also did not believe that we were sober. One second. Okay, so we're gonna be right back. I'm gonna fix Carmen's eye, and we'll be back with more stories of us. Being we love crazy. you. In case anyone's wondering, I was like saying like, "Oh, I'm like over too far," and she was like, "Oh, I'm sorry. You get too closer." I'm like, "No, no, no. It, I know that. Like, it's not you. It's me." And she went, "Ha ha. That's what he said." I'm like, "That's the saddest. That's what he said ever. Like, like a breakup. That's what he said. Like, are you okay? I mean, am I wrong? Let's." That's fair. <laughs> to be fair, I've never been broken up with. I've only been ghosted. <laughs> See? So it's not that sad. At least he's breaking up with you in person. We're not talking about anyone in general. We really aren't. We just like to yell at our imaginary boyfriends. I don't have an imaginary boyfriend. No, but we have imagined what it would like what it would be like to have a boyfriend. <laughs> You've had multiple boyfriends. I have. None of them were a good choice. Uh, if well, any of you see this, I'm sorry, but one of things them was just a mediocre choice. He just 
we'll stop talking about my boyfriends because otherwise we're going to get into territory of Jasmine yelling at me for things that are very justified to yell about. But, uh, yeah, we're also going to She be fixed my eye, by the way. Yeah. Made it I actually match. Eye. Attempt number six. Or attempt number one for Jasmine because she actually knows how to do this. Well, it's easier to do eyeliner on your wrong side on someone else than it is on yourself. I find the easiest way to fix your eyeliner when it's kind of messed up, and you you want to like you want to redo it, but you don't have time to redo it or anything, is if you start crying, then both of your eyeliners will get messed up, and people will think it's just like a completely different reason. <laughs> See, that reminds me of um, when I was a junior, right after the fires, I started doing really like sultry, smoky eyes, because. They were already smudgy, and if I started crying in school, I could just smudge it back into place. place. Also, fun fact, if you start crying and you have mascara under your eye, and it's waterproof mascara, and you can't just, like, wipe it off with a wet paper towel, if you use chapstick or hand lotion, it'll take it right off. Oh, see, I never had issues, unless I'm, like, really ugly crying, like... You never, you are never ugly when you. Cry. That is lies, Carmen. You are always my a ugly crying is like going like this to you and just letting the mascara smudge on your face. But you are beautiful I'm like even then. Uncontrollably crying, uncontrollably crying. Is that how you feel better? Yes. Okay, unless I'm like really uncontrollably crying, I don't really have issues with mascara like running because usually I'll just sit there with a the tissue lazy. and I'll like let the tears like go into the. That's an eyeliner. <laughs> Maybe I want to do black lipstick. You're more than welcome to, but do you want to do a red or a nude? I think I want to do red. Okay. Then do I red. never do red lipstick. Oh, you want one of my lipsticks. <laughs> I did not bring lipstick. That's I a think red. I did bring lipstick. That's a red. Perfect. <laughs> I brought lipstick that I stole from Jasmine earlier today. No, that's still sitting on my bed. Okay, so I did not bring the lipstick I stole from Jasmine earlier today. It's better than now, like, you know, when you're really upset but you can't cry, so you just kind of, like, sit there and internally combust, and you're like... Nye, 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 I watched nye, 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 really like, sad YouTube little... videos, and then I start crying, and then I feel better. Oh, uh, you know my I weakness? Make cry. <clears throat> you know my weakness is I watch, there's this World of Dance video, and it's Jake and Chow semifinal season. It's the most recent season, so the one that, like, ended, like, just as COVID hit. It's to Say You Love Me by Jesse Ware. Oh, it's such a good dance. I, cry. I, 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 I don't necessarily cry, but I feel very strong feelings. Or I watch, like, the best of me. <laughs> yeah. We cry a lot. But it's you have okay. a lot of emotions. One time Max told me I have a lot of emotions. But it, my issue wasn't the fact that he said it. It was the fact that when he said it, I was having an... A very reasonable and logical response to something I was just like okay like I kind of hurt my feelings but at the end of the day like whatever and like in hindsight I realized I was kind of having a stressful day I didn't eat enough like there was a lot going on I kind of blew up and then I realized I was being dramatic and like apologized and I was explaining this to him he's like you have so many emotions and he like sits there and like has that little thing and I'm like you have like two whole emotions ever it's not my fault you're a robot. And I was just like, I had like this guttural response. And he's like, Jasmine, you're having a lot of emotions in response to me telling you that you have a lot of emotions. And I was like, well, yeah. And this is a pretty color. Yeah. Um, mm, Sally borrowed it for my mm. birthday. But yeah, so... Um, we, we do. We just don't like it. What other people pointed out to us, apparently. So that is everything. These are the final looks that we came up with. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed us bickering and telling crazy stories about ourselves as we did our makeup. And if you want to see more of us bickering and telling crazy stories about ourselves, tune in next week. We're gonna, One second, Val. We're going <laughs> to be doing a tag and that'll be coming oh, no. up this upcoming Tuesday or Thursday. <laughs> What'd you do? <laughs> I all over my teeth. <laughs> so that is everything. If you like it, ready with me is on my playlist. Link down below. And if you would like more of Carbon, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all of that jazz. So that Otherwise, I, I will disappear forever. Yeah, I'm just gonna unfriend her for <laughs> to, like remove her from my life completely. You know. So Who please needs her? like and subscribe and comment. I like to be in Jasmine's <laughs> life. Thanks, guys.